I'm here with Susie. Susie, you know I call you my doll, don't you? So Susie, tell us your story. How did you come to Sedona? Well, it's kind of funny because I didn't even know I was going to end up here. But November of 2013, Spirit said, okay, now it's time to move. And I'm thinking I'm gonna be moving down the street. And a couple days later, it was very clear, I needed to get rid of my stuff and pack my car. And I was, you know, kind of like, oh, this is funny. You guys know I don't like road trips, right? Cosmic joke. <laughs> so, but I listened, because I knew it was right. And so I packed my car, and I knew I was going to stop in Sedona to see a friend. And as soon as I crossed the Arizona state line, I burst into tears. I knew I was home. I knew somewhere in Arizona was my home. And so I got to Sedona, and I was here for maybe three days, and I had planned to stay for three weeks. And I said, you know what, I think I'm supposed to be here a little longer. Well, that was January of 2014 and I'm still here. <laughs> wow, Susie, that's a great story. So you got to Sedona and then you start your business here and you're here for good. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a continuation of, of the business I already had going, but it just evolved as I was here. And one of the unique things about Sedona was I had this experience of being absolutely welcomed. Within a week, I was connected to people, places, events. I'd never experienced that ever in my life, that a town was like this living essence and it just welcomed me in. It was, it was clear that I was home, I was meant to be here, and it was beautiful, it was amazing. You are, Susie, and you are beautiful <laughs> to, to, to add to Sedona too. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for sharing your story.